case we have to take care like of uh, the three types of energies which are there so there is uh, translational kinetic energy then there is rotational kinetic energy and then there is vibrational kinetic energy okay for the gas molecules so let us see one by one so translational kinetic energy we have uh, three by two r into t this is the translational kinetic energy rotational now since it is polyatomic so therefore this is three by two r into t we are taking for like one mole <clears throat> and vibrational so let the degree of freedom for vibrational be f so we'll be having f into r into t let us multiply by n also which is the number of moles okay so um now why this is f r t okay because in vibrational kinetic energy okay both the atoms they vibrate so therefore it's like you know a, a half k or half kt is associated with the first molecule and half kt is associated with the second uh, not molecule atom okay this is about each atom now we multiply it with by n okay so that's the number of um, moles okay and na by above gatro number also because in n moles there will be n into na this this much will be the total number of molecules So now uh, CV uh, and CVRT will be the uh, internal energy. So therefore CV becomes 3 by 2 R plus 3 by 2 R plus F R and CP becomes like CV, CV plus R. So now what is CV? CV is 3 plus f into r so therefore cp is 4 plus f into r now cp by cv is going to be gamma so therefore 4 plus f into r divided by 3 plus f into r this is going to be equal to gamma r r is gone therefore 4 plus f is equal to 3 gamma plus f gamma implies uh, f is equal to uh, 4 minus 3 gamma divided by gamma minus 1 so therefore the answer is going to be the option c we'll just repeat so we started with the translational kinetic energy the rotational kinetic energy and the vibrational kinetic energy each degree of freedom so the degree of freedom in translational kinetic energy is 3 in rotational again it's 3 and in vibrational it's f each degree of freedom has half kt energy associated with it whether it's translational or rotational and since in vibration two atoms are involved that's why it is having kt energy like half kt plus half kt which is 
kt energy is associated with each degree of freedom for the vibrational kinetic energy so now we uh, have cv so cv is equal to you know, like we, we we come across 3 plus fr and cp is 4 plus f into r so therefore cp by cv is equal to gamma and that for the degree of freedom is going to be this thank you